just when I thought you couldn't improve on a piece of running gear, Silva introduces their fifth generation trail runner headlamp. The most comfortable headlamp in the world. Silva has three new models, the Trail Runner Free, Trail Runner Free H, and Trail Runner Free Ultra, which is what I have here. Now Silva sent this to me for the purpose of review. They are not paying me to say anything specific. Everything that I'm going to share with you are my own thoughts. Let's get into it. Be sure to stay tuned throughout the duration of this video because I'll be going over some of the specs and features of the headlamp. I'll share a little bit of my own personal experience as I've used it. and. At the end of the video, I'll also do an unboxing. If you like this, please subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and comment down below if you have any questions about the headlamp. So what makes this the world's most comfortable headlamp? Silva has introduced three new headlamp models, the Trail Runner Free, Trail Runner Free H, and shown here, the Trail Runner Free Ultra. The only difference between each model is the included battery setup. More on that in a minute. All models of the Trail Runner Free series offer a no hassle integrated cord housed inside the headband, dubbed Free Technology. In short, there are less cords to deal with, a more simplistic design, and more comfort. The hybrid battery case, which is included with all three models, can use the USB rechargeable 1.15 amp hour battery for a free AAA battery and features a red rear LED for additional safety and visibility. Just note that the rechargeable 1.15 amp hour battery is not included with the free H model, but the hybrid case is included with all models. All models feature a wide 30 millimeter anti-slip headband and are perfectly balanced from front to back when using the hybrid case. IPX5 water resistant rating also means you don't have to worry when running in the rain or snow. All three models utilize a bright dual LED setup. This intelligent light simultaneously uses a long distance spotlight and a floodlight to perfectly light your surroundings and the path ahead. At 400 max lumens, you will not have any issue seeing the road or trail ahead. All models also offer a 200 lumen and 50 lumen brightness setting for longer battery life and a flashing safety mode. You'll also notice that when you initially turn off the headset, there is a visual battery indicator of green or red, informing you when it's time to charge or replace the batteries. On the free Ultra model, the 4 amp hour battery case also has a 4 LED indicator informing you of the battery charge state. These also illuminate when charging, so you know when the battery is good to go. The only difference between the three models, other than price, is the included battery. The base Trail Runner Free model comes with the hybrid case for use with three AAA batteries, but does not include the optional USB rechargeable pack. The Trail Runner Free H model includes the hybrid case and a compact USB rechargeable 1.15 amp hour battery, good for up to two and a half hours of use at max brightness. The Free Ultra includes the battery case and, albeit a tad more bulky but still lightweight, four amp hour USB rechargeable battery which is ideal for long distance adventures or when you simply don't want to worry about regularly recharging the battery. The Ultra offers up to an incredible nine hours of use at max brightness. Additionally, with the free Ultra, the battery can be secured comfortably under the headband or when used with the included extension cord can be located to be kept warm in your pocket or running pack. That's particularly useful when we're very cold. So what's been my experience with the Silva Trail Runner Free Ultra. I'm gonna talk about some of the things that I like and then I'll talk about a couple things that I think could improve on the headlamp. But first off, the headlamp is extremely comfortable. Uh, that's with both battery cases. The Ultra comes with a larger battery as mentioned earlier. I found that with this battery, there's a little bit of bounce, but I typically wear my hat backwards and so the battery is able to rest on the brim of the hat, um, negating any sort of Bounce. It's not huge by any means, the bounce, uh, but when you wear a hat backwards, you don't even notice it. When wearing it 
with the hybrid battery case, the headlamp is just about perfectly balanced from front to back, which is really nice. You don't get as long of a battery life when using this, uh, but it's a lot lighter and just gives you a better surface area. So it's really well balanced and then the headlamp stays in place on your head. I really like the headband also stays in place thanks to this no slip uh, rubber or silicone uh, line that they put on the inside of the headband. You can just set it, leave it, you're good to go, enjoy your run. I also like that the headband is nice and wide and I found that there are absolutely no pressure points anywhere uh, on the headband, especially on the front where the headlight is. The design has been improved from their previous version and I found that it's just a lot more comfortable when it's resting on the front of your forehead. You can see that there's a, a nice pad, foam pad here, which keeps it nice and comfortable, especially when your runs exceed maybe an hour or two. I found that when pushing the button here on and off, it's very easy to do whether you're wearing gloves or not, and it gives you a good click feedback informing you that you've uh, cycled through the next slide or you're gonna be, you've activated that button. The other thing that I really like is when you turn on the light and you cycle through the different brightness settings, when you reach back to the brightest setting, you get that quick pulse of light informing you that you are back at the brightest setting. It's just a nice visual indicator telling you that you're back on the brightest setting, you're good to go. And of course, when you turn it off, you'll get a green or red indicator telling you that your battery is either good to go or needs to be charged. On a side note, I personally found that when using the hybrid battery case, with the uh, AAA batteries that the light just didn't seem to last that long. Um, I, even after using it for about an hour and a half on a run, I found that the um, brightness, at least on the max setting, the 400 lumen, lumen setting, it seemed to be quite a bit dimmer than when I had started. And I, I blame that partially on the fact that the AAA batteries instead of a rechargeable battery pack. I also blame it partially on the uh, generic non-name brand AAA batteries that I was using. So you might get a little bit better experience, a little better battery life if you're using an actual name brand um, AAA battery, or of course, when using the actual 1.15 amp hour battery pack. All right, as for the prices on each of the units, starting at the base model, the Trail Runner Free, you're looking at $80 US. That is gonna, again, include the hybrid battery case, um, and I don't quote me on this, but it might also include three uh, AAA batteries. The battery life, you're gonna get 25 hours at 400 lumens, 50 hours at 200 lumens, and 70 hours at 50 lumens. The Trail Runner Free H, the next model up, is $110, includes the hybrid battery case and the rechargeable 1.15 amp hour battery, that's a USB rechargeable battery. You'll get two and a half hours of battery use at 400 lumens, five hours at 200 lumens, and up to 12 hours at 50 lumens. You're also looking at 55 grams for the weight or 108 grams with the battery case and battery. The free ultra, which is what I have here, is 130 US dollars includes the four amp hour, the large capacity four amp hour battery and the hybrid case, but no rechargeable battery for the hybrid case. You'll get up to nine hours of battery use at 400 lumens, up to 11 hours at 200 lumens, and up to 23 hours at 50 lumens. Now all the battery life specs that I just read off are in ideal conditions. Of course, if it's colder out, uh, that's going to diminish the life of your battery. The weight of the Ultra with just the headband, not the battery pack, is 55 grams as mentioned with the other models, 108 grams with the hybrid case, and 141 grams with the larger 4 amp hour battery case. As for improvements, really the only thing worth mentioning is that I felt like the headband is great for those that have an average to larger head, but if you have a smaller head, then I found that where the battery connects into the side of the headlamp here, it gets a little close. It gets not a lot of space there. And that just has to do with how uh, you end up adjusting the head strap for smaller he uh, heads. So not really a big deal, but maybe worth mentioning if you're gonna use this for your kids 
or you have a smaller head. So, would I recommend the Silva Trail Runner Free? Absolutely. It's really, at this point, the only headlamp that I would, frankly, recommend to anybody. I've loved it. It's very comfortable. I love how bright it is. It's functional, looks good, and I feel like you get good value. It's a great headlamp, and I definitely recommend it for you. So we've reached the end of my review. Thanks for sticking around. Now, let's check out what you get in the box. So we'll do a little unboxing of the Silver Trail Runner Free Ultra, because who doesn't love an unboxing video? what we have here in the package and I have not opened this previously so this is the first time I have opened it as well looks pretty nice let's see what we got here in this package all right little manual how-to guide Right, that looks like it might be the extension cord that you can use to uh, be able to put the battery in your backpack or pocket when it's pulled out. All right, there's the four amp hour battery pack. Nice. All right, we'll read those instructions here in a minute. It's pretty good. Not as heavy as I thought it was going to be. That, that feels pretty good. All right, what else are we getting in here? There's your USB cord for charging. There is the included optional slim case that you can use with uh, AAA batteries. You can put AAA batteries in there or the optional 1.15 amp hour rechargeable battery. This is also where you can flip the switch for your there's a red LED light there that illuminates the safety light. You can have that in steady or pulsing, uh, pulsating modes. All right. And of course the main feature, the actual headlamp itself. If we can pull this out. All right. There is the headlamp. Floodlight and your spotlight. This looks like it'll be pretty comfortable. Power from the battery pack plugs into that, and then of course can it secure onto the back there. Got a nice sticky band along most of the inside of the headlamp. That's nice. Okay, excellent. I like it. I like the updated colors. Feels nice. Feels like this will be pretty comfortable. There you have it.